Our reporter Emmanuel Shays spoke to the head of state energy firm Naftogaz, Alexei Chernisov, to find out how the country is coping with its energy shortage. Mr. Chernisov, you've recently taken up the position of CEO of uh, Naftogaz. That's one of the toughest positions to be in in the middle of the war. Uh, how has it been over the past few weeks? My target is secure and guarantee gas supply to over 12 million Ukrainian households and to keep them warm and heated over the course of this and next winters. I'd like to ask you, how uh, does uh, Naftogaz continue to be operational in the middle of large-scale attacks on uh, power infrastructures? These attacks are definitely should be treated as a war crime as they are targeted exactly on the civilian infrastructure. And the target of Russians, the goal of Russians, is to deprive Ukrainian households of heating, electricity, water supply, and all other basic human needs. I am proud to state that Naftogaz is functioning 24-7. Our personnel is united and fit. We have more than 1,000 of men on the front line from our employees. All the others are working mainly in our offices in Ukraine. And uh, our task is very simple. Uh, we should guarantee gas supplies and heating to Ukrainian people. Is Ukraine in a capacity to export it, its resources to its partners? Our electric grid has been hit dramatically. We have serious outages of electricity. Our gas production facilities has been hit as well. And uh, we are working on keeping our production volumes at the plant levels. And we are trying to cope with these risks every day. What form of uh, support do you get from the partners? I'm thinking about European partners. I'm thinking about US partners. Ukraine is in desperate need for external support. And uh, I'm really happy and thankful to our Western allies for the continuous support in the fields of energy, infrastructure, humanitarian and other, which is absolutely critical for Ukraine right now. What are the avenues for uh, Naftogaz to, uh, to exploit uh, Ukrainian resources and uh, to uh, export them to its partners, especially to its European partners? I think these are two avenues. First of all, you should produce more, but from another hand, you should consider uh, responsible consumption of energy and natural gas in particular. And that is a big part of the of, of job that should be done in the next month and years in Ukraine. Uh, we stand united right now with Germany and other European countries, and I'm sure this assistance will bring us to the prevailing and to the upcoming victory that we expect in this year. Thank you very much. Thank you.